welcome back to another episode of a day in the life of a tow truck driver as you can see today we've gotten a good bit of snow out of nowhere yesterday it was dry and green and today i woke up to snow we are here at a local college or university looking for a 2004 pontiac vibe I don't have much detail of what's wrong with it, but as far as I'm aware, something is broken on the suspension or a CV axle or something along the lines of it. There it is. Pontiac vibe. Well, this one certainly looks interesting. I'm almost thinking if I can just get my bed, I might be able to just slide the bed under it, put the parking brake on as long as it's tight. How you doing? Does it roll at all without the wheel coming off or do you think it'll fly off? It'll, it'll roll just fine. I drove it. The oh, okay. It, so yeah. Okay. That makes it easier. All right. We've got keys now. Our gloves are nice and toasty. Thing idle is so high it's literally just crawling up by itself you don't even got to give a gas all right I very much do not trust the underneath of this car but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to trust it. Get it on and off. go through the salt pit. Alrighty, we have a 35 minute drive to go drop this puppy off. Now we are going to go to the winch out and 45 minutes away. You good? Yeah man, rip it. guys are having the time of their life. I'll be. Sometimes I wish I lived out in the sticks. Should be arriving here pretty soon. I think I'm gonna run a winch line off of that guy's tree. I'm gonna ask him for permission. Say, can I run a winch line off your tree? Try and just kind of yank him out. How are you? Good, good. Today they, they have a top counter. Always at the park over there. And I just park here and I start to Drive. Yeah, I hear you. Let's see what we can do. I try, you know, two years ago I, I had I the same problem and I tried with this one, but we have no. Right, yeah, it's and too. I, I, no. Yeah, that's all just mud. Okay, well, might not be too bad. Let's see what I'm working with on space. Is there empty here? Is this like ditch? No, it's it goes down slow? Yes, because it, over there is, is grass, you know. Right. Every time just... Pulls you, more, yeah. More, more, more down. Right. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna go down there, flip around. No problem. I'll come over here. Yeah. And then I'll try and pull you straight out. Okay. If we can't get it that way, I'll go back, flip around again, and then I'm gonna go off of that tree. Okay. I'm gonna run the line to the tree and right back. I'm gonna ask them for permission first, but okay. that's worst case. All right, so let me flip around. Of course. Okay. 
Michigan's been very, very unfriendly when it comes to the ice we've been getting recently. Just because we get crazy amounts of snow like this and it's 32, 33 degrees, all that snow ends up freezing over. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is try and get my truck as far over on the concrete here as I can. See if we can pull them out. I'll try a snatch and a winch first. This is gonna spike us in the ground. down there spiked into the ground put it in drive and give it no gas yep yep no gas and then and let, let off the brake you can let off yep okay perfect yep perfect thank you very much of course thank you, thank you so very much much of course I'm going to get you unhooked and then you're all good, okay? Thank you very much. Of course. Alright. That went smooth as butter. One of those days we got to keep this puppy on there. That's what I'm talking about. Another one done. That one was very easy. Now that we finished that winch out, our board is clear. We're gonna go stage for a little bit. Maybe grab a little lunch. Wait till the next call comes in. All right, our next call is gonna be at this Speedway here. It's gonna be a 2012 Ford Focus. Should be unattended with the keys left inside of it somewhere. So we're gonna find the, figure that out. Yep, I see it right back there, bright blue. Okay, looks like a rear flat. I think the rear flat might be it. Holy cow. That is filthy. I don't even want to get in this thing, it's so gross. And it looks like this strut is completely blown out. Which should probably explain why everything is broken and damaged and all of the above. They definitely smack something hard on this side. I think I might have a little more luck with this. Not getting in this. This thing has a boatload of resistance, I can feel. Parking brakes off, so that probably means something's rubbing. Got the focus up, chained and strapped down. 
We've got about a 20 or 30 minute journey over to the drop off. done with the focus now we've got a winch out for a Chrysler town and country pretty close to the yard so we're gonna scoot on over there see what the deal is here's our stuck van looks like they just slammed the gas pedal with traction control off you gotta love that hello how you doing have you put it in reverse I'll pull you out just give it no gas no brake or nothing once you're out and you feel the car start rolling by itself um, I'll look in your mirror like check for my hand signals or put your window down I'll tell you like stop There you go, you're good to put it in park. That's money right there. Get home safe, have a good night. Thank you. great success that one fought me a little harder than usual but still no match let's go on and get on out of here and I should have a delivery of something pretty exciting I want to show you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and see if uh, that has come in and if so show you guys here's our newest additions we can now get rid of the old ball hitch here you can see are our new spikes. See underneath there, these are going to dig into the ground once we push it into the ground with the wheel lift. So it should help us out a lot with winch outs. We're going to test them out. We've got one coming up shortly. 